Hello everyone, Andy here, and today you join me with a video after last night's announcement in relation to the Evolve um, little sneaky picture we had the other day, which uh, by the way I had a great response on, uh, absolutely fantastic, loads of comments, loads of likes, really appreciate all that. So we found out it's called the DJI Zenmuse X-T2, uh, and before we get into it, here's the video that they showed last night. Two years ago, DJI teamed up with FLIR, the world leader in innovative imaging systems, to bring thermal data to a new generation of pilots. The partnership gave rise to the Zenmuse XT, a highly sensitive thermal camera that enabled drone operations for everyday firefighters, emergency responders, agronomists, inspectors, and more. To enhance the capabilities of these new pilots, DJI and FLIR are back again to bring you the Zenmuse X-T2, the ultimate thermal imaging solution that packs twice the power through a dual sensor configuration, pairing a radiometric thermal sensor with a 4K visual camera. The X-T2's dual sensor setup lets pilots do more in less time, collecting easily comparable visual and thermal data in a single flight. Utilizing the X-T2, we're able to rapidly assess every solar panel on our project while simultaneously monitoring structural components and the environment as well. The dual sensor capability is a game changer. It provides all the data we need to schedule site maintenance in one flight, significantly increasing our productivity. Working behind the dual sensors is a set of processors that enable the XT2's machine intelligence. This onboard intelligence gives pilots a host of smart features that turn the XT2's vast stream of thermal data into actionable insights even while the drone is flying. Never miss the heat with temp measure, allowing pilots to get detailed temperature data in real time. Quickly interpret this complex thermal information with FLIR MSX technology and isotherm controls letting you overlay visual data on top of thermal imagery and fine-tune your real-time view. It's very important for us to be able to confirm quickly what we're seeing on the thermal view. With these new real-time visualization settings, we can immediately interpret this aerial data and quickly make detailed tactical decisions on how to proceed with our rescue operation. Maintain safety in challenging flight scenarios. The X-T2 automatically locks onto the highest temperature within the frame with heat track or any desired object with quick track, giving you the freedom to focus on the mission at hand. Immediately identify what's important with temp alarm, alerting you of any objects exceeding a set temperature limit. When inspecting our equipment, it's important that we identify overheating components prior to failure. With the X-T2's advanced radiometric settings, we're able to fly in close and scan the area in detail for any potential hazards. After a few adjustments on the DJI Pilot app, the X-T2 will alert us if there's a component that requires maintenance. Fly in more situations than ever before. When combined with an N200 series drone, X-T2 pilots can see in low light conditions and fly confidently despite a strong breeze or light rain. Search and rescue often comes down to finding a needle in a haystack. Using these machine intelligence features, we're able to pick out things that are above 95 degrees. In this case, it's body temperature, and we're able to find those things and have the alarm go off and alert us. The X-T2 allows us to save time, and when we save time, we save lives. Whether it's flying high for inspections of solar panels, or saving lives on the ground with rescue teams. The X-T2 sets the industry standard through a combination of powerful sensors and onboard machine intelligence to give you meaningful results. Welcome to the next generation of aerial imaging. So the um, Zenmuse X-T2, as you saw from that video, um, it's not a new drone um, and the picture of the two circles, you know, there was ideas of it being like the Phantom and um, the uh, new Mavic uh, lenses and that wasn't far from the truth in the way that we actually found out they are the lenses, it was a sneaky 
clever way of showing the two lenses that are on the front of this new camera, the new thermal imaging uh, camera. So DJI uh, partnered with a company called Fleur, so they combined with both their technologies with um, you know their thermal imaging and then like DJI's um, you know amazing camera quality with the stabilization and they put it into this um, new camera which can be attached to um, a couple of different drones and um, so the different drones that it can be attached to is the M200 and the M600 series drones. Um, I don't think it can be attached to anything else at the moment um, from what I read via the uh, tweets last night. And the advantages of it are the fact that you get the real-time thermal imaging. Um, what's interesting is um, if anyone did watch my live stream where we did talk about the um, pre-announcement of this on Tuesday night, um, I actually went into a bit more detail on what I thought it was going to be from the comments. And um, one of them was about emergency services. So it's um, quite funny how that did come true. So it's amazing to actually see that DJI are now looking to use this as not just um, you know something for all of us to have fun and for businesses. It's now getting used for you know possibly saving lives, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, so. I think it is quite impressive to see how possibly, you know, it's going to save money and save lives. What's not good about that and what's not to like about that? I mean, that's pretty impressive um, that DJI, you know, are now introducing such a feature um, and giving that aid as well to these emergency services. And not just emergency services, it was showing how it could be used, say, for like agriculture or, you know, these kind of like industrial plants, you know, it, it could save a lot of time and money for some of these companies, so it's pretty impressive stuff. Um, right, I wanted to get this video out as quick as possible after last night's announcement so you could all see this. Let me know in the comments below um, what you think of this new camera. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, which should be popping up around here at this moment in time, or it could be here, I can't remember. And make sure to hit the bell icon to keep up to date with future videos so you're the first to see them. Thanks everyone again for watching, see ya, bye.